morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post workouts for busy moms. Today we're going to be doing an arm workout. Whenever you're ready, get a resistance band. We'll be going in front. This is just a gentle warm up. Doing some banded pull aparts. Overhead. Go back in front, do 10. Overhead. One more round in front, 10 more. Overhead. Good job, put the band down, we'll be done with that. And do some arm swings, just real gentle with these. Make sure that it's a nice and controlled movement. Don't be like flailing your arms super fast or anything like that. <coughs> Easy. Backwards. Right now in front, do some twists. Now this time we're going to be doing some balance work and hip strengthening. So for this you want to lift one leg up, try and reach down to the side, hold, put your leg down, move to the other side. These are pretty challenging. So you want to use your core to really help you with your balance. So if you squeeze your core tight, it should help you be able to stand up and lean down a little bit easier. This will be the last one. Good job. Now we're coming down to the floor. We're gonna squeeze our leg in. This is just gonna help open up your hips. You can set up nice and tall too and kind of move your head side to side if that feels right for you. That part's optional. Switch sides. All right, good job. Now let's go get a hip flexor stretch. Let's just make sure that we're getting our hips nice and open so the rest of our body can be in alignment. Switch sides.
All right, good job. Now we're going to come up and we're going to go into some push-ups. So for these, we're going to go wide and then we're going to do tricep push-ups. So first we're going to begin with wide. We're going to do two rounds of those. You can be on your knees for those if that's more comfortable. With push-ups, you just want to make sure that you're protecting your lower back. So like if you're feeling strain in your lower back, just drop down to your knees for those. Don't do the full push-up because that's going to injure your back potentially. So just make sure that you're protecting yourself being safe. It doesn't mean that you're weak or that you can't do it if you have to do these on your knees. Some days you can do them full, some days you cannot. Just listen to your body day by day and take it that way. So we're going to begin by going into push-ups. job after 10 you can stop we'll take a rest <clears throat> All right, whenever you're ready, let's go into round two of those. I'm going to drop down to my knees because I was not getting the full range of motion. Good job after 10 stop take a rest Whew. so yeah with push-ups you really just want to make sure that you're actually getting really close to the floor with those and if you find that you're barely moving just drop down to your knees and finish them that way it doesn't really matter it's still working the same muscles it is a good goal to work toward to do a full push-up but it's not ever safe to push your body beyond what it's actually capable of doing in that moment All right, so for the next ones, we're going to be doing push-ups. These are just the really close ones, and these are more challenging to do in a full format. So it's like with those, it can even help to be on your knees to make sure that you're actually targeting your triceps, which is this part under your arm. And so you want your body to be close, stacked on top of each other. And for it, you'll come down and push back up. We're going to do 10 of these whenever you're ready. You can try and do them full, you can do them on your knees, it really doesn't matter. See, I've got to do these ones on my knees. I've been practicing them, but they're just kind of tricky. Good job. That was 10. Again, just listen to your body. Those are so tricky. Like, they're something that I've just recently added back into my routine, and I can't do them full body yet. But I know eventually it will come. So, and it's just with those, you really want to make sure that you're working your triceps and that you're not letting like any other part of your arms do the majority of the lifting there. So, it's better to be on your knees, do them like sissy style or girl style or whatever you want to call it and make sure that you're actually targeting the intended muscles.
All right, when you're ready, go back into round two of those. That was 10 after 10 stop on those. Those are just so tricky, but it's so good to push yourself and do challenging things. All right, next get two weights. We're gonna come down to the floor and we're gonna do chest press. So two dumbbells for that. And as you start using heavier weights for this, just make sure that you're protecting your breasts, protecting your arm. Don't ever get into the habit of just flinging weights around because you can potentially injure yourself, especially later on as you start using heavier weights. So it's like with these, I like to tilt it up first. So we tilt the weights up, use my elbows for support, bring the weights into position. <clears throat> this is how I safely manage the dumbbells for chest press on the floor. Whenever you're ready, press away. After 10 to 12, put the weights down. Whew, take a pause. I just recently moved up in dumbbells at home. <sighs> so with those, you want to get anywhere between like 6 to 12. If you're able to do 12 pretty effortlessly, it's time to use a heavier weight, go buy a new weight, whatever you have to do to be able to make sure that you're Implementing progressive overload, which just means repeated stress on the body over time using heavier weight. So you want to, you shouldn't be using your same five pound dumbbells forever. You should eventually buy the eight and then the 10 and the 12 and just keep moving up. But do it safely. Don't move up too fast. And so a good way for that is like, like I just went up in weight. These are 15 pounds. So I will use the 15 pound dumbbells until I can get to 12. Right now I'm only getting to 10. And so I still have some time with these ones before I need to go purchase a new set or, you know, put together a new set or whatever. But whenever you do go up in weight, it's okay if like, say you're jumping up from eights to tens and you can only get to six, like that's fine. Keep doing that. And then like the next time in the week or the next week, see if you can get to seven at a time. All right, let's move into the next round. Good job with this now. I'm trying to push for 11. It's just not happening. Just humble yourself. <laughs> Except that 10 is the number today. Uh, all right. We'll do one more round of these and then move into the next thing. You've reached the halfway point. All right, get ready, final round.
whoo, after you're done with those, put the weights down. And another thing that's totally normal is if you're lifting weights and say on round one, round two, you can get to 10, but then round three, you can only get to like six or seven. That's fine. Try and push yourself and see if you can get those additional like few more reps, excuse me, reps in, but you know, be safe with it. Don't let your form be compromised because you're trying to build up your ego. So just, you know, accept it. Like today, I'm not going to get to 10 on this set, but you know, next week you might be able to. All right. The next thing that we're going to be doing is overhead tricep. Whew, we're going to stand up for that. I was thinking about if I wanted to use this weight or not. I'm just going to use this 115. So whenever you're using just one dumbbell, you can use two and stack them together vertically, or you can hold it horizontally like this with both hands, come up nice and easy overhead. You really want to squeeze your elbows together like you're squeezing a watermelon or just whatever you want to picture there. So we're going to shoot for like 10 to 15 of these. Go whenever you're ready. Whew. All right, after you're done, put that weight down, take a rest.